What is up, YouTube? HPJ here, and I'm coming at you guys today because we have some exciting news for the TCG players. Guys, the Forbidden Limited list has changed. Yeah, we have our Forbidden Limited list for the TCG is here, and it starts literally the first of the new year. So, literally, up to our new year, we have a new list to play under, which means Phantom Nightmare. Uh, Format will definitely be in effect. The Shots of Nightmare will be coming out that uh, the same month. So, a lot of fresh new sites for everybody. Um, and there's a lot of fresh new hits. So, definitely be ready for it. And funny enough, Konami has now updated their website. I don't know if this was before because I don't think it looked at like this the last time I was here. But yeah, it's very, very nice. Um, look, it has the previous list from when the game started. So, you can take out, take a look at those if you want to play some OG formats and just, you know, compare and contrast things from how the game started to where the game is now. And, you know, if you're playing the quote Time Wizard formats, you definitely will be able to see what various lists you want to play and see if other people will play with them and hopefully get those pushed for, you know, content, um, you know, in tournaments and stuff like that. So, with that said, why don't we take a look at the most current list that will be coming out. So, for the Forbidden section, we have Agito the Ancient Sentinel, we have Kalbeck the Ancient Vanguard, Math Mech Circular, and Isolde the tw Twin, the Two Twin, the Two Tales of the Noble Knights. Those are all the cards that are now going to be forbidden. For the cards that are limited, we have Corpus Horror, Redox, the ba Dragon Ruler of Boulders, Rescue Ace Airlifter, Unchain Soul of Servira, uh, Sun Avalon Dryads, Sun Vane Healer, Ib, the World Challenge Jester, uh, Snatch Steel, Ghost and Nash, Rivalry Warlords, and there can only, there can be only one. Then for the semi limited, we have Dino Wrestler, Dino Wrestler Pancreatops, Speed Roy Teratop, and Pearly Sleepy Memory. Then for the unlimited cards, we have Infinity, we have Infernity Archfiend, we have Asteria Unicorn, we have Mind Control, Out of Desire, Self of Adjustment, Sprite Start, and Upside Down One. <laughs> Excuse me. So all of these cards will be. What's changed on the uh, January 1st list? So let's talk about this. So there's a lot of hits to a lot of meta decks that you can obviously. There are the movement of the Shizu cards. There's the supported decks like Rescue Ace. We're getting the support that Mac Mac has. Uh, we're going to see. You could potentially see the rise of Orcus now that Horpora is back. Um, some Dragon Rulers being played in decks now that Redux, because there's only one more Dragon Ruler left, and that is Tidal, the Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls. And uh, Rescue Ace took a, took a nasty hit, and so did apparently Unchained, because it seems that with this list, Konami wants to hit everything that they possibly can for a Phantom Nightmare comes out. And then have a fresh new start once Phantom Nightmare comes. Because let's be real, Tier Elements, the Rescue Aces, and even the, you know, Sylvanian cards, the Sun Avalon stuff, you know, that was pretty big because Plant was just all over the place. So I wonder what Jess is going to do now that a lot of these pieces are being hit. Jess is probably going to play various cards to replace a lot of her um, Sun Avalon cards. Because Europe loves. Uh, plants, the Rika Sun Avalon deck, um, which was hopping all over the place for me, for Bird. That's going to be exciting. Uh, the lineup is there, but yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. A lot of, a lot of crazy changes. So, yeah, it, it's a lot. And I honestly have to say, I'm not shocked um, by most of this. 50% of this I'm shocked. 50% of this I'm not shocked. Um, I mean, this is, this is a crazy list, like, just looking, I think some of the key points, like I said, um, Jeremy has now been hit, Mathmic has a, has no circular, 
um, the what was it Inferno of the Nights, um, Warrior decks overall. Can abuse is old. Uh, we're gonna get some. We're gonna probably see the rise of the Orcos, Dragon Rulers. Um, I don't. I think at this point, I don't know too much about Rescue Case. But I do know that at this point, if your lifter is now hit to win, they're going to probably have to run some of their other cards that they didn't run. So I guess Hydra, or multiple Hydra, if that's the thing. A chain being hit, that's simply because a chain is A chain has a lot of combos in it, so that they definitely love to abuse. So I'm sure this is something that definitely had to happen. Same thing with the Sun Avalon and the Sun Bane in the Rika. Um, it was going back to one, I think it's just too bump up for the World Chalice in the World Chalice setup. Snag Seal, I did not expect them to bring back. I did not expect this card to ever get on demand because for those who don't know, Snag Seal is basically has to like or it's an effect spell and not a normal spell. Uh, the equipment monster, if you still have it on the field, uh, your opponent gains 1,000 life during your standby phase. So, your standby phase. So it is like, oh, this is like legit. We're going to legitimately see um, Snatch Steel goes and match for our real warlords, and there can only be one. These being hit is basically saying floodgates are being dealt with. Again, because Konami hates when it's like, it says in TCG Konami. I don't know if you guys about OCG Konami, but I can say TCG Konami or TCG players just hate when decks have. Get the advantage to spam luggage. And I know a lot of people complained about those in rivalry in their can only be one. But yeah, enough, I think those particular decks that did use these cards, while it seems like they're going to be struggling for these floodgates, they're probably going to find other floodgates to take advantage of. I think also just consider the fact that anti meta can take advantage of all of this with ease. Could be a good portion of why I got hit. Uh, for the series of it too, as I'm looking at it, these are just cards that are basically being hit to either boost up morale or, you know, boost the play of these cards in cases. Pankeratops, which is a cyber dragon that can pop stuff. Um, Spiroid, Teratop, which is an easy card to summon off of Techie Timborg, which I think is the corresponding monster. Um, Spiroid did get a lot of support back when the Wind Synchro, the Windstorm, um, the list pack came out. There was a Windstorm came out, because that's what I'm calling it, don't judge me, and yeah, this is probably going to be really good for just those decks, just generic link decks as well, the advantage of that, Sleepy Memory, to slow down a Pearly, because I'm sure Pearly still a really good deck, and they just really had all these advantages to take away, while the unlimited cards, while some do not fear many, are a little questioning Konami Sanity, so it's a lot of 50-50s there, but I definitely want to pick me up some unicorns. Um, got to pick up another set of upstarts. Judgment, I think, is probably the wild card here because, well, isn't the wild card here? I'll just say that because what has Velvet done in the last couple of years, except for now getting their quote boss spell back? So I really haven't been doing much in terms of fear. Sprite getting their their rota back isn't too bad of an issue. Uh, Pot of Desires was only for big, was only limited because there were issues on that end. Uh, mind control going from one to three. Change of heart is here, so why not? And then there's like things you can do with stuff like mind control. Um Kestera Unicorn, most Kestera decks are just out of play. Uh Infinity Arch Fiend. Infinities have been out of play, so now here you go, here's your freebies. Um and what I'm talking about yeah, I think I talked about it a little bit. Yeah, this is pretty much it. This is just the shenanigans of things, and I mean, people are very excited to to start testing this out, seeing what things they can do, seeing what things they can take advantage of. My only gripe with this is that I would love to see some more come off the list because I feel like the OCG has some more. There's no problem that I can, uh, you know, this big old bird you can sit on. It is out there to play, right? <laughs> Easy to check it out, but DCG players probably take advantage of it. So, yeah, it just sucks. I want my bird back. Give me my bird. That's all I But, double bullets never die because I was playing, playing Harpies with Feather Storm. Feather Storm's not on here. So, 
Ooh, yeah, now I can go pick up my premium secret. I mean, um, prismatic secret, or is it a tell you for better? Oh, God, I'm so weird. Anyway, uh, let me, you know, those are my opinions on this. Like I said, only which one part was off the line, if anything, and even then, and then probably people will say no. That is my opinion on the situation. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. So let me know in the comment section what you think of this video. Or if you need to this. Or if you need to like it. Do you want to see it change? Do you want to see it better? Let me know all that in the comment section below. I will leave a link, of course, to this so you guys can check it out for yourself. And with that said, um, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have shared to me. And hit the notification bell to be informed when I upload more content to my channel. My social media links, they are in the description box below. And with that said, ACJ, signing out. Yeah.